guys, it's Aoife from Friday's Eve Dead Laughing and I'm here with a book review for you guys today. So I am part of the Booktube Tours book tour for My Grandmother Asked Me To Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Backman um, and this was sent to me for free in exchange for an honest review and obviously you guys know, uh, probably know of Booktube Tours and it is run by Grace over at Loving Them Books. I will leave all the different links below that you guys need to find out more about this and I'll also leave all the links to the author's kind of social media pages and website and stuff like that so you can find out more about him and about the book and there's also a giveaway for this book as well so I'll leave the link to that below and I would really urge everyone to go and try and win a copy of this book because I can say it's absolutely brilliant and um, I think it is something for everyone in it I think everyone would enjoy a little at least a little part of it if not all of it and um, like I did so definitely go and check that link out and, and go in for the giveaway because why not so this is about a seven-year-old girl called Elsa who is living in Sweden with her mother and her grandmother and basically Elsa doesn't have many friends she's a little bit different um and her grandmother is basically her best friend and her only friend and her grandmother is kind of crazy she's really kooky and always playing like tricks and on people and she kind of has her own way of thinking about things and thinking about life and she's quite argumentative and she's just hilarious she's really really funny um, and her and Elsa have kind of created this whole like magic fairy tale land between them and they've all these different fairy tale stories that they tell and stuff like that and then her grandmother gets sick and she dies and she ends up just before she dies she sets um, Elsa a treasure hunt and tr Elsa basically has to try and find all these different letters and one letter leads to another and she has to deliver these letters to kind of the people in Elsa's everyday life um, and they're all kind of personal apologies from her grandmother to all of these people and through these letters Elsa ends up finding out a lot more about the lives of the people that have been around her for her entire life that she never knew about before and she kind of starts figuring out more about them and who they are and maybe they're not as bad as she thought they were at first and she just really kind of starts learning about life basically and she's also dealing with grief for the first time obviously as well because her grandmother is dead and it's just absolutely brilliant. This is a brilliant, poignant, funny, emotional book and it will literally have you going through every single emotion. It will make you laugh one minute, it will make you cry the next. Um, it just had me up and down like a roller coaster and I absolutely loved it. Um, Elsa is quite a mature narrator for a seven year old because she reads a lot, she looks up a lot of things on Wikipedia, she loves to know the facts about things and loves to know if people are telling her the truth or if they're lying to her. Um, so she checks everything up in Wikipedia and I've seen a few kind of comments saying that she's almost unrealistic because she's so mature but I actually didn't find that because considering how she lived and how everyone else talked to her like everyone else in her life including her mother and her father and then her grandmother obviously they all talked to her like she was an adult so she ended up talking back like an adult and I think you know it obviously makes sense if you're going to talk to a child like an adult they are going to end up growing up quite mature and there were parts in this where she was a child she did have her little bits of cry like of tears she had some tantrums she had some fights with her mother and stuff like that like that's quite you know natural for a child to do um but again her narration is really good it was really really funny she just had these really great ideas about things and seeing her ideas change as well with how she knew about people and kind of she realized that she shouldn't judge them so harshly at times was really really great to follow and I really enjoyed her own personal journey kind of going through all these things and finding out all these wonderful things with all the people that had been in her life every day since she was born basically. I love books that have a real mix match of characters um, and you know characters that are just so wildly different to each other so they always clash and they're always arguing and this is definitely true with all of the characters that are in Elsa's apartment building. You have her mom who's quite career focused and you have like the older lady who kind of loves is the busybody and loves to boss everyone around there's like this big giant monster man who is like a real OCD neat freak and he is like really afraid of germ he's a germaphobe um, and then you have like all these different people who are just dealing with all these different things in their life like Elsa experiences so much she's experiencing bullying in her own everyday life in school and some of it is quite severe um, but then as she goes through and finds out all about the people in her life she also starts kind of um she starts coming face to face with different things like obviously grief with her grandmother then alcoholism PTSD from the war and um, from other pe from other characters domestic abuse um 
pr pretty much everything because like even though this is narrated by a seven-year-old and the seven-year-old child is the main character and um, I wouldn't say that this is a children's book at all this is an adult book um, but there's just so much in it that is just so lovable as well it's kind of has a bit of everything I enjoyed the fact that there is a lot of this that we still kind of had to guess and um, the whole bits about the magic fairy tale land and then the secret langu language that her and her granny had which was quite obviously at some point it was actually a real language but we never quite find found out what that one was we could just take an educated guess by the other things we found out during the book but the magic kingdom in general was quite it reminds me a little bit of the movie wizard of oz where the characters in the wizard of oz were actually kind of reflections of the characters in Dorothy's everyday life and I felt like this is the same with this book where the characters that her granny had told her about were all kind of reflections of characters in her everyday life and she started figuring that out as she delivered the letters and as she found out people's personal stories she realised that her grandmother had taken inspiration from um, the people in her life and she just kind of created this tale to make it so Elsa understood their stories when she came to learn them and I really really love that it was really really great there's some really great lines in this book like even the first line is really good and I'll read it out to you now um it's every seven year old deserves a superhero that's just how it is anyone who doesn't agree needs their head examined and that's kind of the whole tone of this entire book it's really like you know well you're an idiot if you don't if you don't realize that and Elsa really has this kind of sassiness to her I guess she has this little kind of swagger and she kind of knows what's what and she really gets annoyed if people don't read quality literature which she thinks is like Harry Potter and the Marvel comics that's what quality literature is to her and um, she kind of feels like she can judge people um, on whether they have read quality literature or not and there's another part where she goes to see a psychotherapist and this woman has loads and loads of books in her um in her room and she's looking through the books because obviously Elsa loves books at the same time she's a little bit like why do you have so many books when you could just put all of these books on an iPad and she can't quite figure out why the woman wants all these books in physical form quite yet but then she realized the woman has never read Harry Potter and she doesn't have any Harry Potters and she's like you have all these books and not a single Harry Potter and they let you fix people whose heads are broken and I just thought that was so funny she's just such a Potter head she's such a Potter fan and she always has her Gryffindor scarf and she's just kind of a little bit of everyone I think on booktube like she's a real fan girl um, and she's like she's just amazing she's really really great as a main character and she's so young and I just love this and the author actually has another book coming out um, or he did have a book come out in May that is actually about another character in this book and kind of their story after this book takes place and I really want to pick that up because I think that will be really really good as well and I just really enjoyed the writing in this it was so engaging and it, I felt like it was a slow read but that wasn't a bad thing either I felt like I could really get into the book because I felt like I had to read it slower for some reason I just felt like I had to read it slow and even though I I finished it quite quickly I still felt like it was a slow read if that makes sense but I enjoyed every minute that I was in this world um, and in Elsa's world and just in her mind and she's just absolutely brilliant so obviously I gave this one five out of five stars and I'd really urge everyone to pick it up especially people who just love a bit of fun and a bit of emotion and everything in the reads because this just has it all it has every emotion under the sun as I said um, and it tackles loads of different things in a way that's really understandable so definitely go pick it up definitely go and um, enter the giveaway for this I'd really urge you to do so and yeah I just loved reading this and I loved being part of the booktube tours and yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys again next time bye